Welcome back guys, you're watching Entrepreneur and in this video we're going to be ending the how to day trade on Binance series, uh, putting the whole strategy together, walking you through each and every step uh, and allowing you guys to ask questions on anything you guys need answered in the comment section below. Uh, please ask any of your questions guys on this video because we're going to go, go through A to Z uh, every single step of the way, what you need to do. Uh, I'm kind of going over what we discussed in the first and second videos, but if you haven't watched those already, I would suggest you go back and start from number one just so you understand every single part of the process. Um, but for this video, we're going to be starting off uh, just with briefly going over the first two steps and then getting into the actual fundamentals of trading on Binance and what you need to do uh, to ensure that you're successful. So the first video, like I said, we discussed how to locate quality uh, projects to trade um, on a consistent basis that allow you to profit the percentage that you're going to be needing for this strategy is going to be making uh, about $100 per day starting off. Um, let's say you have like a thousand to fifteen hundred bucks. It's very easy to be able to make uh, that amount of money. So, getting into it, um, obviously, I'm not going to go completely into what we went into the first video, which is how to find the best projects to trade. But in the first link in the description, uh, actually, we'll do the second link in the description. Uh, the top 17 cryptocurrencies of 2018. Those coins are all great to day trade, uh, allow for great profitability. So that's a free list. Go ahead and check that out. That's the second link in the description and that will eliminate the first video so you guys don't have to watch that. You can just go get those 17 cryptocurrencies that outline great projects to trade on a consistent basis. So now that we've done that, what you want to do is actually go ahead and make a watch list. Now you can either do this on CoinMarketCap or you can do it on Live Coin Watch. Uh, uh, this is the website I use for my watch list. Um, so you can just go on your watch list and what you're going to be doing is basically sorting by volume every day. So I'm not going to show you my watch list because uh, that's for my private group. But basically what you want to do is every day for your watch list, you want to sort by volume, right? We discussed this in the first video and I'm not going to repeat the reasons why, but that's what we're going to do. And then how we identify which one we want to trade, um, you're, you're going to have to do some due, due diligence, see which ones have the best uh, the best potential um, but how you basically determine that is see the percentage that they're down or up the last 24 hours normally you don't want to be trading something that's up a bunch uh, because chances are it's going to fall so we want to get in on things that have the potential to you know go up so maybe you know here we have Bitcoin cash down three percent over the last 24 hours I wouldn't be trading Bitcoin cash so I'm actually gonna use a trade that I'm looking at right now for an example which is V chain so in the second video we discussed technical analysis now we mainly went over the MACD and the RSI as well as what you want to look out for and how you know to enter a trade so just to recap Basically, the strategy is you're going to wait for an oversold signal on the RSI, and the way you determine that is the purple line goes below the purple shaded area. Once you get that, and you can actually set an alert, which we also went over. Um, unfortunately for you guys, if you don't have a paid TradingView account, you cannot set multiple alerts, but you can set one alert, so you can go ahead and set that alert. But if you guys want to get uh, live trading alerts every single day from our private community. The first link in the description is the Investors Elite. That is my private trading group. We do a live call every single day for an hour, Monday through Friday, and we also send out signals uh, all throughout the day for trades, uh, potential trades um, that we do profit on every single day. So if you guys want to join that, definitely check that out. But if not, uh, let's continue on. So first step is see the oversold sign on the RSI. Second step is we want to see a confirmation of momentum. So you don't always have to wait for the blue line to cross up and over the orange line and get the confirmation from the MACD, but we do want to see that we're starting to see a lot of demand for the specific asset. Now, the way we do that is actually not on the technical analysis side, it's actually gonna be on Binance. So, um, so really step one, just uh, understand when it's oversold and that's a good time to buy. Now. Uh, after that, it, really all you have to do is pay attention to this right here, which is the order book. Okay, now the order book does a lot of things, a lot of great things for people, and people don't even realize that you can trade specifically just off the order book if you wanted to, for the most part, um, which is actually what most of the strategy is, uh, and that is, it's pretty simple to do. So what you're going to want to look for is things like this. You see this huge wall? That's what you actually want to look for. So after you've determined something is oversold, 
either on the five minute or the one hour. Um, then you jump over here to the order book to figure out if there's enough demand and uh, a low amount of supply to allow the asset's price to rise from all of the buyers fighting for the best price of the asset. So right now I actually have an order set um, down towards uh, where the beginning of the wall starts. So what you wanna do is identify a wall and then you wanna place your buy order in between the top of the wall as well as right near the bottom of the wall. So as you can see, as the price moves down, there's gonna be a few um, orders that are gonna fill before mine. You can see $15,000, $5,000, $13,000, $6,000, and then my order right here, $12.96 for $4,000. So my order is there. You can see that there's some orders above it, which is gonna allow for a bit of a cushion there, and then there's a lot of orders below it, which is gonna be a huge cushion, basically ensuring to me, allowing me to know that there's a bit of insurance on my trade. If I enter in here, it's gonna take a lot of selling power to break through all of these orders as well um, in order to trigger my stop loss which would be around 1286 so that is basically how you use the order book to identify where you want to enter into a trade after you have already identified that something is oversold and the momentum is looking to turn towards the upside. So it's very simple, guys. Obviously, there is a ton that goes into trading. You know, There's a lot of things that I could get into, all these lines, the moving averages that we have here, uh, as well as some other uh, advanced strategies that, of course, our private group um, does take part in. But if you guys just want a simple strategy, what I would recommend is either on the five minute or the one hour, depending on how much time you have per day, um, set an alert on a coin that you identify that you want to trade. Set an alert for an oversold signal either on the one hour or the five minute, whichever you guys want. If you have more time, I would suggest the five minute. If you have less time, I would suggest the one hour. Um, or if you want to be more hands off, one hour, uh, more hands on, five minutes. So once you do that, set your alert, and then once it triggers, once you get that signal that the alert has triggered, then you need to jump in and identify where in the order book do you think is a, a good place to set a buy. And don't only look at the buyer side of the order book. You also want to pay attention to the seller side. Where do you think there's going to be a potential resistance? For me, there would probably be a t potential resistance around 1335 to 1340 because there's a large clump of orders right there. And then even further up from that, it uh, looks like right around 1387 up to 1395. There's a lot of sell orders there as well. And then 74 grand at 1400. So you can get an idea of where the price of the asset could rise to and see resistance at. So you can start to plan out where you wanna sell before you're even in the trade. So a big question that I always get is, well, how do I set a, you know, what about a stop loss? What about how do I set my sell order? What about all these things? How do I set the orders? Uh, and a big question, the biggest question that I get is, can I set a stop loss and also set my sell limit? And yes, you guys can do that now uh, with a third party called Three Commas. Now, I actually just started using Three Commas today, um, referred by one of uh, the students in my private group, and it's actually a very quality software. Uh, basically what you do, you hook it up to Binance through an API key, and it allows you to set uh, a limit sell order as well as a trailing stop loss at the same time and also a level that you want to take profit. So let's just run through quickly how to use this, how I used it to set uh, my first trade with it. Um, of course, I'll make more videos going really in depth into three commas, but I wanted to include it in this video because I think it's an important part to being able to trade um, efficiently and effectively. So starting off, once you get here, you're going to first want to select the trading pair. So for me, I select USDT and uh, VET because that's the pair I want to trade. And then you come down here to these three little panels. So you have smart trade, smart sell, set, te uh, set take profit, and then set stop loss. So starting off with the first column, uh, we're just going to focus on this. Smart trade is basically to buy and smart sell is to sell. Uh, so first off, VET, the amount of units, uh, so the amount of VET tokens, the buy price, so a limit order, um, I set it at $12.96, and again, we identified $12.96, because if you come back in here, um, we've identified $12.96 as being a quality buy order. I actually might end up pushing that up a little bit, there's a lot of buyers here, but we'll have to see as time goes on. So I set mine at $12.96 as you can see right here, and the total amount was $4,094, right? And it actually allows you to say size from available amount. You can do 5%, 10%, 25, 50, 100, anything like that. 
Um, now it says trailing by, uh, you can do that. We'll talk about that in further videos, but today we're gonna leave that alone. And now that we have this smart trade set up, we want to also set up where we wanna take profit, where we, where we wanna set a stop loss and figure that part out as well. So for me, I'm looking to get about 5% profit on this trade. So again, I'm just gonna type that in. Uh, 5% obviously just ignore this part right here because I already set the buy but 5% and it's going to be at 136.0 So let me just check the order book see if how many sell levels that are going to be around that area See if we'll actually be able to fill the order um, I definitely think we'll run into res some resistance here But if we get up to 1360 looks like a good area I might actually want to push that up a little bit bit more because it seems like I could probably get more out of it So why don't we go up to like 1380 because it seems like there's some a little bit of smaller orders in here, but we could probably push past that with enough, enough volume. So 1380 will go up to, which will be a little bit more percentage, 6.4, uh, and that will actually be the percentage. And there's a bunch of cool things you can do here. You can split the target, so you could sell like 25% at 1360, 50% at 1380, and you know 100% or the rest of the percentage at 1400, whatever you wanna do. With three commas, it actually automates the whole process once you set the rules using the API key. So now that we did that, um, there's one other thing that I wanted to do, which is actually check off the trailing box and then follow max price with deviation uh, minus 1%. Now what this actually does is it, as the uh, price of the asset continues to rise, it will actually trail your um, order to sell to take profit. So what that means is I set my uh, limit order to sell at 1380 at a 6.4% profit. Now what this is going to do is once it gets to 1380, it will um, basically turn the order into, uh, it'll make a line at 1380, and if the price continues to rise, the buy order will follow the, the price of the asset and will basically close, so let's say, Let's say we're at 1380, right? And the price hits 1380, but then it keeps rising and it goes up to 1390. Your buy, your sell order would actually rise with the price of the asset up to like 1385, whatever the minus 1% would be. And then if the price falls, you actually sell at 1385 instead of 1380 with a trailing um, with a trailing set profit. So it's very nice to have this um, and something that I'm actually excited to use. And then lastly, we have the set stop loss. So the stop loss, of course, you always want to have stop loss on. Uh, for me, I have a specific ratio that I use that, of course, you guys can get if you want to take one of our private courses. Um, but for the stop loss. I'm gonna do a 1% stop loss for this, so one, one, two, eight, three, and of course I made sure that chances are I won't hit that because there's such a large uh, buy cushion uh, uh, between that number, so one point uh, one two eight three would actually be down here under all these buy orders, which is great. Um, so I have that set, and then I'm actually going to select trailing stop loss. So this is something you cannot do with Binance, but is really needed, honestly. So three commas does a great thing, allows you to do a trailing stop loss, which is basically going to be this, right? So if you are you buy in at thirteen fifteen, let's say, and your stop loss is at uh, 1%, so let's just say 1320, your stop loss is at 1306. If you go up, right, if you go up 1%, then the uh, the stop loss will rise to the price that you bought at. So it's a trailing stop loss. As the price of the asset goes up, the stop loss will adjust and move up with the price of the asset so that, let's say you're up 3%, you're, and the price just plummets, you will sell out at a 2% gain, and walk away with a 2% gain instead of a 1% loss as normal. So that is another great thing about three commas. If you guys want to get a 10% discount off of three commas, I will leave a link in the description, uh, either the second or third link in the description for three commas. Again, you'll get 10% off of three commas. So great uh, service to use. I'm excited to use it. And then once you're actually ready, you just hit create trade. And as you can see, I already created my trade right here. But that is basically the full strategy for you guys. And just to give you a bit of rundown with the numbers, if you guys start off with $1,000, within 15 days, you can be making $100 per day with this strategy as long as you get 5% per day, which is very achievable, guys. I know a lot of people are going to, I'm sure, leave comments in the description. Oh, that's 5% per day. No way. Uh, that would never happen. But um, guys, it's achievable. Uh, even if you can't get 5% per day, 15% uh, a week, $1,000 compounded over a year is a million dollars a year. So you don't really need to be getting 5% per day. You could just be getting 15% per week. Uh, so if you just get 5% three days in a week. But as an example right here, a uh, trade that we actually hit last night, um, bought in at I think 1303. 
1303 was able to get 4.7 percent so five percent is not unachievable guys uh, it's pretty easy to get five percent per day as long as you're trading the right coins which again you want to check out that top 17 cryptos list um, so yeah that's basically the whole rundown of the strategy uh, from taking you from how to identify in coins which we provide to you guys uh, how to go over some simple basic technical analysis that may be simple may be basic but it does work if you use it correctly along with the order book you need to use the order book if you're going to use a simple strategy like this because you need to know where other people are buying as well as where other people are selling so keep that in mind guys if you guys want to learn more about advanced strategies and really become a full-time day trader or even someone that is just a very educated day trader or swing trader check out our either investors elite uh, private trading group which is going to be all the signals or if you guys really want to learn how to trade check out the entrepreneur investors program which will be a link in the description as well which takes you through a to z how i trade how i became a trader everything you need to learn before you even start trading as well as everything you need to continue to do after you start trading so that is all the resources i have for you guys again it will all be in the description and let me know what you guys think what what parts of this strategy do you need more info on for more videos in the future what parts of the strategy did i go over well uh, that you really understand now um what else do you guys want to see let me know in the comments uh, of course i would love all the feedback and yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video have a good one guys